Imagine being face to face with a creature so large and powerful that it could crush a crocodile in its coils. The Titanobo was a top predator of its time, ruling over a warm and humid landscape filled with rivers and swamps. It was perfectly adapted to its environment, with incredible swimming abilities and the strength to take down prey many times its own size. But how did this ancient serpent come to be? Let's find out. In the span of its long and eventful history, the world has witnessed a number of truly magnificent animals. The variety of sizes and shapes that these creatures come in, from the enormous dinosaurs that used to walk around the world millions of years ago to the beautiful whales that can be seen in our waters now, has captivated humans for decades. But there aren't many animals that have managed to spark people's interest as much as the Titanobo, which was a massive prehistoric snake that roamed the Earth more than 60 million years ago. The story of the Titanobo begins in the Cerijon coal mine in northern Colombia. In 2004, a group of paleontologists from the University of Florida and the Smithsonian Tropical Research Institute were digging the site when they came upon something genuinely astonishing. There was a nearly two-foot-long vertebra, sometimes known as a backbone, that was found embedded in the sedimentary rock. The group realized very immediately that they had made a big discovery, but they were unaware of the full extent of how crucial their finding would turn out to be. The crew proceeded to explore the site over the span of the following several years, discovering an increasing number of bones along the way. As time went on, it became abundantly evident that they had made a discovery of the skeletal remains of a monstrous snake, one that was far bigger than anything that had ever been seen. After putting together the different bones, the team was able to reconstruct the skeleton of the creature, which turned out to be quite impressive once it was all put back together. They gave the snake the scientific name Titanobo serigonensis and calculated that it was around 42 feet in length and weighed more than 2,500 pounds. To put that into perspective, it is about the same length as a school bus and weighs the same as a compact vehicle. The Titanobo belonged to the family of reptiles known as the Boid, which also contains living species such as boa constrictors and pythons. However, despite the fact that these snakes are capable of reaching impressive sizes, none of them even come close to the size of the Titanobo. How then did this enormous snake come into existence? We need to take a more in-depth look at the environment in which the Titanobo resided in order to comprehend the evolution of the Titanobo. A little over 60 million years ago, the planet we call home was a drastically different place from what it is now. The arrangement of the continents was completely different and the temperature was far higher. In point of fact, temperatures in some regions of the Earth were as much as 15 degrees Celsius warmer than they are at the present day during the Paleocene Epoch, which is the time period during which the Titanobo existed. At the time of the Titanobo's discovery in the Cerijon mine in Colombia, the surrounding environment was likely densely forested and located in a tropical climate. The region was covered in thick woods, and it included an intricate network of rivers and wetlands running across its terrain. It is likely that the Titanobo would have made its home in these marshy parts of the landscape. So, what led to the Titanobo's development into such a large creature? A warm environment may have encouraged reptiles to reach considerably greater sizes than they do now, according to one idea. Reptiles are ectothermic, which means that in order to maintain a consistent internal temperature, they must draw heat from the environment around them. Because of this, their ability to take in heat from their environment is restricted when it is colder, since they can only do so much absorbing. However, if they are in a warm environment, they are able to absorb a much greater quantity of heat, which enables them to expand in size. Another explanation proposes that the size of the Titanobo was due to the food it followed. The researchers that found the species thought that it was a constrictor similar to the bow constrictors that live today. This indicates that it would have put its victim to death by squeezing it to death in order to consume it. For this to have been accomplished successfully, it would have needed to possess a great deal of strength, which in turn would have required a more substantial frame. Because the Titanobo's prey would have consisted of such formidable creatures as crocodiles, turtles, and large mammals, it was necessary for it to be large and powerful in order to bring such prey to the ground. The enormous size of the Titanobo was not the only characteristic that set it apart from other animals. Additionally, its anatomy was quite dissimilar to that of snakes living today. 
To start, each of its vertebrae was much bigger than those of any snake that is still alive today. In comparison, the vertebrae of a modern-day anaconda, which is one of the biggest extant snakes, had a diameter of just one inch. This means that the vertebrae of the titanobo were almost two inches in diameter. In comparison to snakes living now, the head size of the titanobo was enormous. Its skull was about three feet long, and it possessed a multitude of razor-sharp fangs that it would have utilized to capture and kill the animals it hunted. It was able to ingest its victim in its entirety because its jaws could expand to an extremely wide position. The body of the titanobo was also far broader than that of a modern-day snake, which would have enabled it to more efficiently constrict the animals it was hunting. The discovery of Titanobo has had significant repercussions for our understanding of the evolution of snakes and the way in which they are connected to the environments in which they live. Scientists have been able to get a better understanding of the adaptations that enabled snakes to flourish in the tropical forests of the Paleocene period as a result of researching the bones of an extinct species that lived millions of years ago. For instance, because of its size and weight, the titanobo would have been an efficient hunter in the habitat in which it lived. Because of its capacity to swallow enormous prey, it would have had an edge against other, smaller snakes, as well as other types of predators. Because of its size, it would have been less susceptible to attack by predators like crocodiles, who would have had trouble consuming such a big animal. The finding of the titanobo has repercussions for our comprehension of the effects of climate change as well. Because of the large concentrations of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere throughout the Paleocene era, the climate was warm and tropical during that time period. Scientists are able to get a better understanding of the ways in which the temperature of the Earth has changed over the course of time and the ways in which these changes have impacted the ecosystems of the world by examining the remains of extinct species such as the Titanobo. Finally, the public's imagination has been sparked by the discovery of the Titanobo, which has resulted in the Titanobo becoming a popular topic for books, television shows, and other forms of media. Because of its enormous size and terrifying reputation, it has become an intriguing topic for people of all ages, and it has contributed to the rise of interest in the scientific discipline of paleontology. The Titanobo was an exceptionally unique species that has piqued the interest of both scientists and the general public. Because of its enormous size and distinctive structure, we now have a better understanding of how reptiles may adapt to the habitats in which they live and grow to astounding proportions. But the Titanobo has also had an effect on our comprehension of climate change and the prehistoric history of the Earth. This is in addition to the first point. As we carry on with our research on the Titanobo and other extinct animals, we will, without a doubt, acquire an even deeper understanding of the astonishing variety of life that exists on this planet. And who can say for sure? It's possible that deep inside the jungle, unseen by humans, there are still some enormous snakes just waiting to be found. And there you have it, the incredible story of the Titanobo, the largest snake ever discovered. From its massive size to its impressive strength and swimming ability, this creature was truly a marvel of evolution. It's amazing to think that such a creature once roamed the earth. Thanks for watching.